Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to come on here and do my luxury wish list home edition. I usually do fashion related luxury wish lists, so I'm usually talking about jewelry or clothing or shoes. But today, this video is going to be home related, so we're going to be talking about wine glasses and plates and cookware and furniture and all the things like that so if you're interested in that type of video and you love homeware and interior design then I feel like the things on this list might be things that you have never heard of before so keep watching so first we are going to be discussing one really cool brand and it's called Josephine and Hoot I love their wine glasses they make some of the i don't know is a good way to describe a wine glass like is sexy a good word because for me when i look at these these look so elegant and so sexy and i don't know i just i find them to just be so beautiful and i want them so bad and specifically i love that they have like starter packages so you can get like two of each glass or you know one of each glass so you don't have to like dive head first into spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars there are other options <laughs> if you are somebody who may be on a budget um, which I don't know if you should even be buying these glasses if you're on a budget but if you're somebody who doesn't really want to spend you know over a thousand dollars there are options when it comes to these glasses, but these are pretty expensive wine glasses, I'm not going to lie. Um, and so I've been looking at these for a while. I just think the way they're made is just like so beautiful. The attention to detail, just everything about this wine glass, just I just want it. I want it so bad. So this is definitely high on my list. I hopefully we'll be able to get these glasses in the next few months and when I do you will absolutely be getting an unboxing because they're just so beautiful so beautiful I love them so much so yeah Josephine and Hoot is the brand and I just I'm so excited to buy these glasses I'm really in like my wine collection phase and I feel like I have a lot of nice wine glasses but for me these and then the next ones I'm going to talk about are like the top of the top when it comes to what I personally want in my collection I know there might be more expensive ones out there I know there might be I know there's plenty of like more affordable ones out there but that's not the point these are the ones that have caught my eye and that I really really want and I feel like if you don't know about them or if you don't know about this brand then you should definitely look into it. Next, we are going to be talking about more glasses. Um, and these are from Baccarat. Now, specifically the wine flute glasses in the Mille Nuit. Now, I'm not, I studied French for many years, but obviously I'm not proficient at all. So it's kind of, the name of it is Mille Nuit. N U I T S Mil Nuit. <laughs> I don't freaking know how to pronounce it, but it's the Mil Nuit Flutissimo Flutes. Flutissimo Flutes. The Mil Nuit Flutissimo Flutes. <laughs> just look at just look at the screen. Forget my pronunciation and just look at the screen because these are absolutely beautiful glasses and uh, they're just so special i feel like if you had these in your like wine cabinet or your um china cabinet wherever you're going to like display your glasses at it's just going to be so beautiful just looking at these oh i want them so bad oh i just i love baccarat glasses in general so these specific ones caught my eye there are so many options when it comes to baccarat um but the flutissimo set the milnui flutissimo set is like the one that i specifically 
am like, that's for me. That, that has my name written all over it. Next, I want to talk about commissioned work for a minute. Um, for a few minutes, actually. Because the next few things on this list are commissioned homeware, like special ordered plates, customized like homeware. And there's something that just makes my heart so happy when it comes to like commissioned work, whether it's commissioned art, or commissioned like you know cookware anything that you have custom made for your home is always going to be a step above in my opinion i just i love the idea of it and i feel like if you can you should if you can you should that's my that's my personal thought about commissioned work in general if you can you should pay the artist directly and get something absolutely beautiful in return so when it comes to the first product it's from shellfish nyc and it is the oyster plate and the oyster platter these are just i don't know i feel like you kind of have to like oysters for starters <laughs> to make this make sense but if you are an oyster lover or you just like really cool looking plates then you should definitely check out this brand they do make like special orders and then they also have like a general section of products that they make pretty consistently but they're just so cool looking i don't know if you guys are into pottery but i am and i do pottery from time to time and i just love special ordered products like this they just make me so happy and i just feel like Again, if you're like at home and you want a little snack, just having like a thing of oysters on this plate just is so cute to me. Um, <laughs> you could use this for a dinner party. You could give this away as a wedding gift. There's many opportunities to like, <laughs> you know, find ideas of what to do with this plate. But I would just like, I would use this plate all the time. And I would use this plate and this platter all the time and I just really I love how it looks it looks really special to me so yeah shellfish NYC is like I've been kind of stalking them for a while like I've known about them for a few years now um and only recently have I really gotten into like wanting to actually purchase products from them but I'm just so interested in like all the work that they make. Next is Frank Ceramics and they make snack plates. This is cute in my opinion if you have children who kind of eat the same snacks every day because you can have a specific type of snack plate commissioned for like your kids snacks after school. Or, you know, if you eat the same type of snack or you have like a thing of favorite snacks that you like on a plate. For me, it's like Parmesan cheese and salami and uh, crackers and maybe a little bit of like caviar and creme fraiche. I personally think it would be nice to have a snack plate with all those little like sections like a little they draw the item in the section on the plate does that make sense it's on the screen so you guys can see it but i love the concept i love the idea and i really feel like if you don't know about this brand yet then you should check them out and they will also be linked below next i wanted to discuss um an artist kelsey floyd is her name kelsey floyd pottery is the brand and she makes some of the most incredible vases that I have ever seen. I was truly blown away when I saw her pieces for the first time. I just, the things she does with pottery is like mind blowing. It's pure magic. Some of the way like her vases just like move and you can like interact with them. I don't know it's just kind of like mind-blowing I don't know how she does it but it's so good and so I love her vases um I have some of them on the screen they are really 
beautiful pieces and I feel like if you don't know about her you know she's just incredible I could see her having like a whole like a homeware collection of not just vases but rugs and furniture and sculptures and she just makes some incredible pieces um most of them are vases she just the things she does with pottery are just really really cool you guys so if you don't know about kelsey floyd pottery i will link her website below and i just i love everything she does i want so many of her pieces and when i am able to get a couple of her pieces in the future I'm just my heart is gonna be so happy I'm gonna be so happy I cannot wait like I have so many places where I can think of oh I can put some pieces over here and in my kitchen and in my living room and in my bed like I just have so many ideas on what I would do when I get my hands on some of her pieces so Kelsey Floyd pottery some of the most incredible vases you will ever see in your entire life Next, let's talk wall plates because I already have some and I have been looking into getting at least four to six more. Um, I love how they make my wall look. I love the idea of having, I don't know, it just bring attention to the wall in such a different way. I feel like Fornacetti wall plates are so cool. There's over 300 to choose from for for one thing, which is just like super cool. And they are a bit pricey. I have eight of them, um, but I do plan on getting about, like I said, four to six more. I will put the ones that I'm considering getting on the screen and you guys can let me know what you think. I want at least four more with some color in them because right now all my wall plates are black and white so i want them to have some gold or green red and and white i don't know i want them to have some type of color to them so that's my plan for wall plates definitely going to be doing another unboxing when i do get them hopefully that will be by the end of the summer but again these are kind of expensive so they are an investment but it's not really an investment it's just kind of like it's a piece of art for me um i don't really plan on ever selling these i plan on keeping them forever so yeah i'm really happy with them <laughs> and i feel like if you don't know about fornacetti wall plates or fornacetti in general it's such an amazing brand so i can do a video a separate video on fornacetti if you guys are interested but i want more wall plates that's what I know. I know for a fact that is what I want. I want more. I need more. And I will get more. <laughs> so. Lastly on my list, I wanted to discuss wine. Because I love wine. I love olive oil. I love wine. I love <laughs> all the yummy things of this world. But um, wine is one of the things I wanted to add on this list because... I love to collect wine I love buying wine I like buying nice wine that I can keep for a while and there is a company that I was able to get a couple of cases of wine from a few years ago and I I fell in love you guys I fell head over heels in love and now my goal is hopefully in the next couple of weeks to get a few more cases of wine and the brand is called Vanessa. if you watched my um venice italy vlog that i had a few years ago you'll see that i went wine tasting here and they had some incredible wine at the winery they actually have like a michelin star restaurant as well which is really really cool um i didn't get to eat there unfortunately but i will hopefully be going back in the future and being able to eat there but in the meantime, I know my main plan is to buy a few more cases of wine. Now, I have a couple of cases downstairs. I considered bringing them upstairs, but they are very heavy, so I might just, like, insert a picture somewhere. Uh, maybe I'll get them in a minute. Okay, so this is the case that I was talking about, and this 
is the wine. If I can show you, I'll get a bottle out and show you. So these bottles are not big. Like these are not like your average full size bottle of wine. So this is a bottle of 2016 Dorona Veneto. Now this is one of my favorite wines I've ever tasted and that's why I really want to get more. This bottle will run you around 160 euros. So for the case it's about 900 euros. Um, this is not a full size bottle. This is like, you know, kind of like half the size of your average bottle, but it's extremely good wine. I really want to get a couple of larger size bottles that will run you around like 500 euros to a thousand euros each for um a larger like white wine from this company they do have right white and red wine now this bottle has a gold label this actually is made out of gold um the attention to detail you know like the embossing of the v on the top is very nice the attention to detail on these bottles is insane and that's one reason that i wanted this wine when i went to the winery um this is bottle 3234 out of 3880 and then i have this one that is a 2017 and this is bottle 585 out of 2760 that were made so <sighs> not many of these bottles are made on a yearly basis some years they don't even like bottle any wine so that's kind of what makes it as exclusive as it is because you're not going to go to your liquor store and find this wine you need to go either to the winery or to the website if you want this wine um but it's really good and i have a couple bottles of red a couple bottles of white but the hope is that I can get a lot more so that I can start drinking it again because I like collecting it, but every now and then you want to open a bottle. And right now, I don't want to open any bottles because I don't want to run out. So hopefully by the end of the year, I will be able to get a few more cases delivered to the house of the larger size bottles and another um, full like six bottle case as well so fingers crossed for that but I just really want to start collecting more wines and starting with my wines from Vanessa and ending with wines from Napa I just I'm really excited to get more into wine collecting and wine tasting as the years progress so yeah we'll see what happens but I think that's where I'm going to end this video. If you guys like this video, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you guys want me to do like specific niche videos. If you want me to do a video talking about the, you know, history of Fornicetti um, and the history of the plates, I can do that because it's actually very interesting. If you want me to do a video talking about wine and where I go wine tasting and like show you guys different places and like where I live in the Midwest to buy really good wine I can do that as well so yeah possibilities are endless just let me know in the comments below and I will talk to you guys very very soon bye